Hello and welcome to CGD Games. Today we're back on the road. We're about to start a job all the way to Frankfurt uh, from the lovely truck stop here. And uh, yeah, we've got, I think probably headlights, but uh, we'll find out after this. Yep, so as you can see, it's absolutely chucking it down. Truck service, not truck stop, you idiot, Lee. Right, so we'll head in here. Headlights, yes. More headlights and more headlights. Right, so we'll accept all three of them. And uh, we'll jump in the truck. Take the handbrake off. And uh, we'll pull forward so we can get out and uh, close those doors. There we go. And the red and yellow peril. Here we go. Well, let's close these doors up. Once again, three pallets. It looks like we've got one on. But uh, hey-ho, what can you do? Oh well, yeah, we'll jump in the truck. As you can see, look. Absolutely tonking it down. And we need some fuel, actually. Uh, so it might be a good idea to go and uh, get some fuel first. But first of all, let's... Uh, sort this rain situation out so we can see where we're going that will help massively uh, also just before we go tachograph let's have a look at this only 18 minutes so let's change that uh, we'll have a rest it'll probably stop raining no no it's still raining still absolutely bouncing it down out there so we've got a petrol station around the corner so I think it'll be a good idea uh, to head there first and uh, you look what is going on here now Oh, I, do you know I do it every single time, don't I? Change mode. There we go. That should uh, sort that out. Okay, let's uh, get ready to take a right. Splendid stuff. As we get ready to head to Frankfurt. It's only 262 miles away. It's not a massive journey. Uh, well, like I said, we're going to need some fuel. We haven't got that much on board at the moment. We can get out and uh, fill up. Probably grab some snacks and stuff from the shop as well. We all know how we like to uh, grab a few snacks before we uh, head on a bit of a long road trip. I think what we're going to need to do as well before we uh, set off on our way, we're going to need to put our lights on as well, aren't we? That's definitely going to be a given. So we can flash our lights outside. As you can see now, look, we've got all our lights set up. Lots and lots of lights now on the truck. Here we go. Let's go, go, go. The sat nav is telling us to go right. We're going to take a left uh, because we're going for some fuel. Remember, we're going to need some diesel. You see the uh, fuel station just there on our left-hand side. Right, so let's head in here. The, the way I'm going to do this now, just keeping an eye on my mirrors, uh, I'm going to go from this side and swing in, just so we can leave a little bit easier. There we go. Good turning circle here. There we go. There we go. Go on. Spin round. There we go. Nicely done. Pop in that and fuel this bad boy up. There we go. Splendid. Right. And brake on. Uh, let's uh, turn the ignition off and all that jazz. And uh, we'll get out and stick some fuel in this. This is going to uh, be one thirsty mama. I know that much. Here we go. How much you think it's going to be? We're going to get 900 and lit 980 litres in there, so I reckon it's going to cost us about a grand. It's uh, one euro eight currently. Oh, 766 euros. That's not too bad at all, is it? In fact, the price up there is oh no, diesel 108. Yes. There we go. Right. We'll uh, get sorted now. Settle down for a, a, a kind of a long drive, I suppose. Right, let's uh, fire her up. There we go. Oh, and we wanted to put some lights on, didn't we? There we go. So, uh, 
Can we actually... I've not even tried that, you know. Is there a way we could put our lights on without having to do that? I've never even... Thought, well, I know we can flash them. That's out. Press down. No. Right. No. No, there is no way, is there, of actually doing it um, without doing this, which is a bit of a, a bugger. Right. The lights up like so. There we go. So we've got his lights on now. And uh, I think uh, we'll get going. Right, here we go. So this, I think, is pretty much uh, our first real outing since the big update. Um, oh no, we did the uh, the announcement as well, didn't we, for the uh, VTC, which we did live uh, on the channel. That's going really well. The lads are really getting stuck into the VTC. Uh, me, not so much, obviously, with my business and family life. Uh, and content creating as well. There's not much time left to do anything else. Um, I do try and get some miles done as and when I can, but nowhere near what the guys are doing. They're smashing it every week and uh, smashing the 1,200, 1200 kilometres that is required uh, from the VTC every week. But yeah, they're, they're really enjoying it. They're really getting into it. And uh, making it an absolute success. I'll leave... Uh, some details down in the uh, description so you guys can check it out um, we may be able to open it up to a few more people a few people did drop out but if you do want to join the VTC you are more than welcome but first of all you have to be a member of the discord which is the SGD the simulation games discord uh, so if you're not a member of that first join up to that and then let yourself be known and um, we can sign you up you'll be uh, issued a logbook uh, where you record all your journeys in the um, in the Discord in your logbook, so you take a photo of your sat nav before you left, and then you take a photo, a screenshot, should I say, uh, of your summary at the end of the job. But dead easy to record your journeys. Once you've done them, you post them in your logbook, and our good friend the Geek Daddy uh, puts them all onto a, a helpful spreadsheet and uh, calculates your mileage and your earnings at the end of every week. So it's a lot of fun. And let's say we have an employee of the month. Then whoever gets the most uh, employee of the month by the end of the year wins uh, a free Xbox or PlayStation game up to the value of £60. And I've just smashed the back of our trailer. Uh, but not to worry because it didn't show as we've done any damage. So that's all good. Now... It's been about two or three weeks since I've played on the road and I've completely forgotten what cruise control is. Now, I'm not going to need it right yet. Let's stick to the right here. There we go. There we go. Right. Splendid. That's handbrake. I wonder if it's right on the D-pad. I can't remember. Oh, I know what it is now. I know what it is now. It's click the left stick, isn't it? That's it. That's the way to do it. We've got the uh, usual tunes played in the background as we uh, complete this journey. So I think what we'll do, we'll um, we'll get out of uh, Nuremberg and uh, hit the autobahn. And uh, I'll see you guys once we've got a couple of kilometres under my belt. See you in a bit. And we're off. We're on our way to Frankfurt. With nothing but 220 kilometres of road in front of us. It's still absolutely lashing it down outside as well. But we've still got the wipers working 10 to the dozen. Keeping that wet stuff off the windscreen so we've got good visibility. Like I said, we didn't get anything to eat at the petrol station, did we? Well, I'm not pulling in there now. We ain't got time. We've got to get these headlights delivered uh, to Frankfurt ASAP. In our new paint job, mind I add, what do you reckon? Hey, she looks belting, doesn't she? Hey, she does look the part now. Bless her. Well, yes, looking grand now. So, so we did start again uh, when the update kicked in to save any problems. Uh, they did recommend that you do that. Um, a few people 
uh, have encountered some issues as he uh, swerves all over the road and creates a nuisance on the road. I think this rain might be stopping, actually. I think we might be in the clear here. But yeah, a few people have encountered uh, issues uh, from not doing that. But uh, I think it's uh, diff it's uh, on its sort of own case sort of scenario. Good God, love, what, what am I doing here? I'm all over the show. Here we go, let's straighten up. I still think I'm playing uh, European Truck Championships here with the, from the racing, uh, the way I'm going. Yeah, as I said, look, the rain is slowing down now. Weather's brightening up. And uh, possibly... Take our wipers off now. There we go, wiper down. Wiper down. There we go. Excellent stuff. But the rain has stopped eventually. If I could, I'd wind the window down. Get some fresh air in here, but uh, the sealed shut. Um, the guys at uh, Tox2 Interactive deem it dangerous that we can uh, wind our windows down. Obviously a safety issue. But yeah, still plenty of water on the surface as well, so we're going to have to be careful. Only 185 kilometres of this trip to go now. We're flying through it. It's one of those games, isn't it, these, where you sort of, you're driving. And um, you look down at how far you've got to go. It's like 200 kilometres. So you, you concentrate and you look at where you're driving to and you keep your eye on the road. And before you know it, you, you're almost there and you, you're turning off. But... Uh, yeah. So we were having a chat the other day on the SGD uh, about this game. Uh, and we were saying, um, with all the quality of life updates now, how good this is. And how uh, how much better of a game it's made it. Um, but we said there's one thing missing, and it's been a gripe of mine for a while now. Uh, and that's just the, the environment. And how cool it would be. If Tox2 um, sort of went under the hood, I just added a few sort of a few graphical assets at the side of the road. Now I know of you, a lot of you aren't a fan of this game that I'm going to mention now, but Truck Driver: The American Dream. Uh, I love that game. I think it's brilliant. I love the free roam mode and the guys at Kyodai, um since release have been adding different graphical assets. Uh, at the side of the road and in the cities and in the towns, whether it be piles of rubbish or garbage cans or bicycles or but whatever it is, they've been adding it. Uh, and especially on the motorways like this, they've been adding sort of industrial areas, farms, uh, farm buildings. And there's just loads of space and scope in this game. If we come out now and just look at the space that is out there, um, to add all different types of graphical assets and it would just break the monotony of trees 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 because pretty much that is 99.9 percent .9 of what you see when you're driving on the road um and like i said for for as good a game as it is now and we're talking console here we're not talking pc this is you know console gaming we know ETS in ATS is the king. So let's put them to one side. But for console gamers, this is pretty much the best there is out there for, for long distance trucking. There's this and there is Truck Driver the American Dream and there's Trucks and Logistics. Trucks and Logistics and Truck Driver the American Dream don't give you that long haul experience. Uh, apart from that, we've got Firm Bus, uh, which is great. Um, but if you want to do trucking like this and, you know, delivering cargo up and down Germany, this is what we've got. This is it. So if they could have just put some new graphical assets at the side of the road and just have a play around with the environments a little bit, it would make the journey so much better, wouldn't it? Now, now guys, that wasn't me. You all saw that, didn't you? I saw it in the corner in my peripheral peripheral vision that a van literally just sideswiped me he, he t-boned me out of nowhere now why he did that i do not know i lost one percent damage there as well uh, due to that i mean my driving's not been perfect uh, on this journey 
But I've been trying my best uh, not to cause too much damage to our cargo uh, before we get it to Frankfurt. The last thing we want to do is be delivering broken headlights, isn't it? Let's just have a look over there. Yeah, I think we're safe to uh, cross over. There we go. Perfect. I do think we have got a car coming up, because I do prefer being in that right-hand lane. There's no need for us to be sat in the middle like this. That's all there he is. I knew he was there somewhere. Let's have a look again. Yep, we're good to go. So we'll head into this uh, inside lane. Perfect. Beautiful. But the other thing as well, we're playing all these different types of trucking games and driving games. Just of like we've been playing Taxi Life and the the indicators, the flashes, whatever you want to call them, are on the D-pad. And I keep going to press the D-pad um, to let people know which direction I'm going in. Because the muscle memory on all these different driving games, you've really got to be on the ball with it. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments anyway about possibly adding uh, more, you know, graphical assets into the environment. I did put it into the On The Road Discord as well. Uh, Brandon's had a look at it uh, and he says obviously you know on the road is a long-term uh, venture now it's a long-term project they did say they're going to support it over several years and adding environments may may adding environments adding new graphical assets into the environment uh, could be you know one of those things that they could add over the next several years so fingers crossed it is and it happens because that would be brilliant unfortunately i think i think and it's it seems to be uh, quite obvious what's going on here what is he doing um that when the update dropped on last gen consoles uh, the big update that we had um, it was you literally squeezing every single bit uh, of ram um, on the last generation console, so that's PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And I think anything now that would be added to the game would only be added uh, to current generation. Not next generation, current generation. I hate it when people say next generation, because we are in that next generation, so it's current generation. So I think it would only come uh, to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. With anything like that, like new graphical assets or anything sort of added to the game now, I think would not come uh, to last generation. Um, that's just my opinion anyway, but it seems to be common sense with the way things went with the last update uh, and the, the last generation consoles, which is a shame. There we go. I've, I've screwed up. I've screwed up. We've crashed. Honestly, playing this game on a controller, it's not the easiest. It's not the easiest. Right. I've done enough waffling on on this dirt journey. We've got about 100 kilometers to go. I'm uh, trying to gain some focus again. And uh, I'll bring you guys back in once I've regained that focus. And uh, we're a little bit closer to Frankfurt. Welcome back, everybody. Um, right, we're about to get off for the looks of it. So we're only about 50 odd kilometers away from Frankfurt So we're either about to get off and uh, travel through the countryside for a little bit before we get to Frankfurt Or we are jumping onto another part of the autobahn Make it nice and steady through here. We're down to one lane now So carefully does it looks like we're actually jumping onto another part of the autobahn From the looks of it Let's swing around here. Let's put the brakes on a touch. Head round. We don't want to be crunching into that barrier. That's what the brakes are for. To help us control us round these tight bends. And these narrow bends as well. Right, so let's uh, pass over into this middle lane. We didn't really need to do that. We will... No, we did need to do that. Because we're going down to two lanes, everybody. There we go. It's like we're passing over a high bridge here as well. So, careful of strong winds. And about 38 kilometres to go. We shouldn't be too far off. I think we're going to be heading straight into Frankfurt. 
off this uh, dual carriageway, I think. Which is quite good, which means we'll get there even quicker. We don't have to pass through country lanes and, and uh, back streets, etc. Through lots of... Uh, through towns. Not too far at all now. But we, I'm not sure how much we're going to get paid. This I can't remember. All I know, I've got uh, three pallets of uh, headlights in the back. So it should be a good little uh, income for a short journey like this. As you can see, there's some kind of uh, industrial area just on my left there, which was... say It's always nice to see something different when you, you're doing a big drive like this. Rather than rolling hills, countryside and trees. Yeah, we're going to jump off here. Let's uh, slow her down a touch. There we go. That's fat. Well, that's not so much my driving prowess there. That was uh, the steering speed not coming back in time. I was pulling the wheel back uh, to not to crash into the right hand side of that barrier there, but steering didn't come back quick enough. I might have to have a look at that as a setting and uh, get it sorted. It needs to be a little bit quicker on the way back, doesn't it? All right, so I've just been into the settings and had a look. It's all the way up to 10, so I don't know why it didn't come. Well, it was about 9.9 .9 something, so why it didn't come back quick enough then, I don't know. Maybe I was going a little bit too quick for that bend. That could have been a possibility. But it did come that back to my uh, driving prowess, I suppose. Right, so let's swing her right here. And now you guys... Oh, look, I've just done it again. That was my fault because it didn't take a wide enough turn. This is an absolute disaster. I think we've lost about 10% uh, of what we're going to make here on damages already. We, I had another bit of a crunch um, while you guys weren't with me. Uh, which I lost about 4%. So I think we, may, we might be up to about 6 or 7% now uh, on damages. But we'll find out when we drop this lot off. Oh, the light just changed then on us. There we go. All right, let's hit that handbrake and wait for these lights to change. Oh, the lights did eventually change. Took the time over it, like. Yeah, they eventually changed. We've got a limit of 50 kilometers an hour. There we go. I've just hit the handbrake instead of uh, cruise control. As I said, this is going really well, isn't it? You can tell it's been a while. I always promised myself that I should play this a lot more than I should. But what we were talking about before about you know, the, the, the lack of environments in the game just it kind of bores me. I mean, I love the game. I really do. Um, I really do enjoy on the road. But it's just the thought of driving on the autobahn, just seeing trees over and over and over again, it kind of puts me off. And that's why I don't play it as much as I should. But we'll see what the future holds uh, from the road. Like I said, they are going to support it for several more years now. Even though they have got another game coming out now, I'm sure that's what they are focus focusing on. Uh, heavy cargo. There were whispers uh, in the community of... Uh, on the Do you know, I have... What is going on here? What the hell? Well... I have never, ever, ever witnessed that before. So many floating Citroen Bolingos there, ladies and gentlemen. This is a new one on me in this game. Look at that. Fantastic stuff. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, we get flying cars on, um, on Taxi Life, but blimey. Good lord, it's like something out of the poltergeist, that is, isn't it? Good lord. Anyway, I, I completely lost my train of thought now. I haven't got a clue what I was talking about. That's completely thrown me. That has. But anyway, we're only five kilometres away from dropping off these headlights. Now, let's get these dropped off. Let's get paid. And then, uh, and I've just put my handbrake on again for cruise control. Unreal. 
I don't know. There we go. Let's uh, take this swinging left now. Nicely done. We head probably into some lights here. Yeah, it looks like we've got some lights. We'll uh, just pull up behind this Vauxhall Astra. These lights should change pretty quickly. For some reason we were in reverse then. I don't know why. Maybe because I braked a little once we stopped. Um, I accidentally popped it into reverse. Come on, lights. Let's change. Beautiful day here in Frankfurt. Anyway, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. At least that rain didn't stick with us for too long. There we go. We head round. We're going to swing a right into truck service. And drop off these headlights. Jobs are good. And there we go. Let's uh, swing in here. We head in. That is where we are dropping them off. So if we just sort of pull over here, like so, we can get a good turn and back this trailer up. There we go. So we'll uh, just pull up here for a minute. And what we'll do, uh, we'll jump out of the cab and uh, get the back open. And let the uh, office know that we are here with these headlights. Yeah, three lots. Okay. We've got the back open as well. Eee, it's all go as a trucker, isn't it? Right, let's jump in here. Take the handbrake off. Right, let's start backing this up now. And what we're going to need to do is pretty much jackknife the truck here. That was the way we're going to have to do this. And swing around nicely like so. Come on, keep going, keep going. That's it, right. Bring her forward a touch. Perfect, right. No, 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 no. You've gone the, you've gone the wrong way there, son. Right, now let's... There we go. Oof truck took a bit of a hit there but i think we're all right back her up nice and slow wait for those arrows to turn change color there we go perfect so we got paid what did we get paid 200 2844 for those 1707 for those and 1991 for those so around about six grand in total there jobs are good and Let's just jump in here a minute. Let's just... Try to turn reverse off. Seems to be stuck in reverse. There we go. Splendid stuff. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nuremberg to Frankfurt. Done. Hope you enjoyed that little trip and our little uh, chat that we had on the way. Let me know your thoughts about our little conversation down in the... Uh, comment section and uh what you would like to to add to on the road to to maybe spice it up a bit and add a little bit more interest obviously map extensions and all that are out the question so obviously you know what sort of graphical assets would you like to see at the side of the road well thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it if you have enjoyed today's video please hit that like button if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when i go live and new content drops onto the channel but once again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.